Hi, hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am like probably 80% made up 80% <laughs> meaning I have foundation, I have contour and blush and <laughs> obviously I have eyeshadow by the way guys for my eyeshadow I used the JCAT Fab 5 eyeshadow palette and this is in the shade Jaded Wasteland it's all green and stuff I put the contour powder in the color brown and then I applied it's the darkest shade all over my uh, crease and then it's light green dito sa gitna. So, you know, just in case you're interested with what's on my eyes. So, sa video na to, ipapakita ko sa inyo or share ko sa inyo paano ko ba ginagawang plump ang aking lips. Paano ko ginagawang plump here, um, juicier, healthier, and more delicious. <laughs> Pero, I would also like to Take this opportunity to like share to you new products that I got you guys. Meron akong dalawang klase ng products na gusto ko share sa inyo. Um, una for the eyebrows and then the second one are lippies. I got this from uh, Blair Cosmetics or Blair Japan. They sent this to me. This is not a sponsored video by the way. They just sent this to me and you know I, was just, I just want to share it to you guys because these deserve to be you know exposed. So this is an eyebrow pencil, retractable pencil over here. And then over here, meron kang brow gel. And, and you guys, I've been using this for a couple of days since I got it. And I have been loving it because it is so easy to use. Meron siyang dalawang shade actually. Wala yung shade name dun sa mismong uh, packaging. Um, tinapon ko na yung box. So alam mo, ilalagay ko talang somewhere here. Kung ano yung mga shades. And I have been using this, you guys, because it has the right waxiness to it. And yung pag uh, apply sa kanya, uh, it's just easy. So easy. So I'm just filling up the sparse area. And what I like to do after applying that, hindi ko muna ginagamit yung brow gel or brow mascara. What I do is I get a separate brow brush. Yun yung pinanga brush ko. See the difference? So I'm just gonna do the other side. And ito yung brow gel. Sorry, bad swatch, but I just really want to show to you in colors. We have the blonde, and then we have a brown um, shade. So I think that's blonde and brown. New shade name. <laughs> but I want to lighten up my eyebrows a little bit, so I'm going to yung blonde. I think this is so perfect para dun sa may mga color yung hair. Hey guys, I'm back. So um. Same filming day, don't worry. Nagpalit lang akong t-shirt kasi kumain ako ng lunch na very, very quick. No, that's not quick. That was like two hours. <laughs> and nakita ko may sauce yung shirt ko. So nakakahiya naman. So nagpalit ako ng black shirt. Anyway, let's continue. So the next product that I'm be showing to you guys are these lippies right here. Um, Burado na yung name ng iba because I've been carrying this on my bag simula nung nakuha ko siya. So these are the Blair Japan or Blair Cosmetics Velvet Mousse. This is perfect for those who wants to achieve yung matte lips without the feel of a liquid lipstick. These are mousse, pero medyo, medyo magelly-ish siya than, you know, the normal mousse. Pero it's so easy to apply on your lips. It's non-drying. I cannot say that it's super duper long lasting like other liquid lipsticks. But I can definitely say nakapag nabura siya, it's easy to reapply. Overall, I like it. It's not the best out there. Pero worth it naman siya itry. Lalo na kapag ka gusto mo talaga ng um, matte like liquid lipstick without the feeling, the tight feeling of, you know, a liquid lipstick. If you know what I mean. So, I'm going to use all this on my um, demo. But for now, I just want to give you a very, very quick lip swatch.
my god, you guys, I hope you don't mind me wearing a wig. I ko si kanina, ang sarado talaga ng hair ko, babe. It's like flat and dry and I don't know. So I hope you don't mind if I ask a little help from my um trusty wigs. Okay, so final change to talaga to guys. Ewa ko na lang pag hindi ba ako nakontento dito. <laughs> so I have four styles of actually making my lips plumpier. First is overlining. Second is lip contour. Third is lip color illusion. And fourth is lip gloss. So I'm gonna move closer so you guys can actually see my lips. Hopefully, um, sapat na to. <laughs> so guys, obvious naman, when you overline, that means you go beyond your exact lip. So what I usually do, guys, is, di ba, nakikita yung linya na to. So when I overline, I go above, a little bit above that line. Lalo na dito sa Cupid's bow. Pero pagdating dito sa gilid, guys, I, I follow my, um, you know, my own lip line. Kung lumagpas man ako, very, very konti lang. And you guys, my limit yung pag overline Siyempre, wag mo naman gawin. Siyempre, wag naman kayong OA, okay? Kapag ka tinry niyo yung overline at chararat siya sa labi niyo, that means you did something wrong. It's not the technique. But it's you. <laughs> so, kailangan talaga ng practicein at alamin at kabisaduhin yung shape ng lips mo and ano yung magandang pag overline sa kanya. Kasi si share ko lang sa inyo paano ko gawin yung akin pero iba iba naman tayo ng shape ng lips, di ba? So what I do, guys, is first I line my lips yung uh, talagang shape ng lips ko. Usually, guys, diretso na ako nag-a-apply ng uh, liquid lipstick kasi kabisado ko na yung labi ko. Pero ginagawa ko lang to for demo purposes. Now I am going to overline my lips. Slowly but surely. And then I add ng paunti unte. Nakita yung difference. Ito yung mga overline. Ito yung wala. My lower lip is plumpier or bigger than my upper lip. Hindi na ako mago overline sa lower lip. And then I'm gonna put liquid lipstick on top. Ha? So I'm just waiting for the liquid lipstick to dry. And basta guys, ang tip ko when it comes to overlining, nago overline ka nga. So wag mo nang egg touch. Okay? Stick to overlining your cupid's bow, pero pagdating dito sa gilid, as much as possible, idikit nyo dun sa natural lips nyo. Pero kung kayo kasi is expert na talaga kayo, alam mo yun, kung sanay na talaga kayo, alam mo na kung ano yung magiging bagay sa'yo na overline, you can control kung gano'n ka kapal na overline yung pwede mong gawin sa lips mo. So this is the before. of overlining. Now we're going to move on to the next technique. Our next technique is lip contour, which is or wherein gagamitan natin to ng contour. <laughs> contour and highlight. So, for lip contour, ang gagawin ko, maglalagay mo na ako ng liquid lipstick. So, may mga ways, may different ways din ng lip contour. Kasi yung iba ang ginagawa, putting lip contour before putting on the liquid lipstick, which is, um, I'm gonna show a photo right now. So, naglagay na ng contour dito, and then dito, and then here, and then meron nila mga highlight and all that, bago bin lend, and then saka naglagay ng liquid lipstick. Kaya lang kasi meron akong, ano, ano yun, foundation powder and everything, and I think mas mabilis tong gagawin ko. <laughs> so, maglalagay muna ako ng liquid lipstick. You can use liquid lipstick or lipstick. So for lip contour, ko ako ng contour powder. Ngayon ko wala kayong contour powder. I just mixed and matched a black and brown, black and brown uh, eyeshadow. And alam mo yon, I just blended any part of my body or my skin. That was kapag nakuha ko na yung perfect shade. Ayan, good to go. So sa lip contour, ito darkin natin yung middle cupid's bow natin. Ano man tawag don? Uh, lip dimple or yung um. Filtrum. Yun yung hinahanap ko. Is it filtrum? Whatever. So what I do guys, I personally do, is nilalagyan ka ng counting contour powder. Hindi ito ka. 
it will give you the illusion na ganun na ganun yung labi mo kaya dumilim or lumalim yung uh, lip dimple mo. And the next part na lalagyan ko ng contour is yung ilalim ng lips. As in like really really close to my bottom lip. Slowly but surely. It will also give you the illusion na potok na potok yung lower lip mo. Kaya nagkaroon ng shadow sa ilalim. Next naman is the highlighter. So I'm just going to get a sponge tip applicator. Kukuha ko ng highlighter. And then lalagay ko siya dito sa Cupid's bow yung nakaangat na part. Tapos minsan guys, naglalagay ako dito ng dark ng contour powder sa gilid ng nakaangat. Konting-konti lang. Just to add more illusion na ganun na ganun yung labi ko. <laughs> so, this is my before lips. of lip contour and parang mas lumaki yung lower lip ko. I am completely erasing everything. Now let's proceed with my third step which is yung choosing the lip color. Ito yung um, parang darker yung outer color and then lalagyan ng something light yung inner. So for these I'm gonna be using this uh, two colors. Charot. Ito pala. Ang pwede nyo kasing gawin, guys, is use a lip liner. Gaya na ginawa ko kanina, use a darker lip liner and saka lalagyan ng something lighter sa gitna. Pero for variety purposes, ganito ang gagawin ko. I'm gonna go straight to the liquid lipstick. Lalagyan na rin ako ng kante dun sa middle. So, ang purpose nito, guys, is mas lighter yung color sa gitna para yun yung parang umangat or something like that. So, I'm going to use this color and apply it to the middle. Slowly blending it. You can use whatever color that you want as long as para sa akin na same uh, color family pero pinagaiba is lighter or darker or deeper. So when it comes to red, you can use maroon red sa outer and then, you know, vavavoom regal red sa middle. You can use fuchsia pink sa outer and then baby pink sa middle if you know what I mean. So again guys, this is my before lips. Darker outer and then lighter middle, but this is not like my favorite uh, technique to do because it's an old school shot for me. <laughs> but you know, it works. <laughs> Next, naman guys, is also ombre technique, but reverse. Naman. Another variety of ombre technique is yung darker yung inner and then lighter yung outer. Pero this this one you guys, yung lighter one is kailangan siyang i-overline and hindi to nagwo-work sa lahat ng klase ng labi. So kailangan mo tong i-try kung pwede siya sa labi mo kasi kung masyadong maripis yung labi mo, it could be like a, a double-edged sword. Pwede niya mas lalong magmukhang panipisin pa yung labi mo or it can help to make it look plumper. So I'm just going to apply a lighter uh, lip color. And then, pa overline siya. By the way, guys, when I overline, I make sure na super covered lahat ng parte ng outer lip ko. Kasi kailangan alam mo yung mabura yung natural line ng lips mo. So kailangan talaga full uh, opaque yung color na ilalagay mo dun sa overline. And then, I'm gonna get a red lip color. And I will make sure na nakalagay lang talaga siya dun sa inner. guys, na nandun lang siya sa inner corner. Hindi siya aabot hanggang dito or hanggang dito. Kasi it's gonna give the illusion na yung, over, yung nandito is still your inner lips. Ay, yung, yung dito mo. So, alam mo yun, mas bukang buka ng <laughs> mas bukang buka ng ganun yung labi mo. But you know, this is a case-to-case -case basis style. Pwede sa lips mo, sa shape and sa size, kung magwa-work yung ganitong technique. If not, use the other, use the reverse of this, yung darker yung outer and then lighter yung inner. But I can say this one works for me in plumping my lips. Lalo na kapag ka talagang burado yung overline ko.
last but not the least technique that I do in plumping my lips, you guys, is using lip gloss. Ito na siguro yung pinaka, pinaka madali, no-brainer technique. Because, alam mo yun, i-apply mo, i-apply mo lang siya sa, sa labi mo. So, hindi ko na buburahin kung ano meron ako ngayon. Pero, I'm just gonna show you how I apply my uh, lip gloss. So, this one is from Skin Potions. It's one of my favorite lip glosses, you guys. What I do is I don't put lip gloss on my entire lips. Nilalagay ko lang talaga siya. Kinoconcentrate ko lang siya dun sa gitna ng labi ko. Like, And then, sa upper until my cupid's bow. And then, sa inner lang talaga. I just really focus on metal because it's gonna create the illusion of a juicier and parang yung gitna yung parang ganon na ganon. Here's the thing. Sometimes I combine one or two techniques, or sometimes I just use one technique. Pero nasa sa inyo na ako ano yung bagay and ko ano yung magwork sa lips nyo. But for demo purposes, I will try to do all four on my lips. Uh, tignan natin ano ba chip natin. I've never done all four ng sabay sabay. Tignan natin sa tayo gagawin ng ating a <laughs> pagiging a adventurous. I'm a thief at night They never see it coming Holding hands and I'm running off With the heart light I'm 007 shaking hands With the devil ain't usually a white knight Been a feeling it Oh my god you guys Kung hindi mo magpapaplump ng lips na yung mga Teknik na ginawa ko, ewan ko na lang Alright guys, alam ko, OA na yung kapal ng labi ko But you know, that's for demo purposes. Now, you guys, disclaimer ulit. I'm not saying na lahat ng technique na to mag-work sa'yo. Kailangan mo talagang mag-experiment at intindihin yung anatomy ng labi mo, no? Nasa sa'yo kung paano mo mahanap. Yung bagay na, yung bagay na technique and lip color na magpapaplump ng lips mo without surgery. Itong mga technique na to, it did not come from me. Hindi ako yung nag-invent and all that. Nakita ko na to na ginawa ng iba't ibang mga beauty vloggers. So, you know, I'm just trying to do some information dissemination. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, click the bell button, and follow me on all my social media accounts. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!